Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are going to be finishing up the week with our roulette team that we started off with this week. If you missed any of the episodes this week, would like to catch up on the phenomenal team that we had to begin the week with from the roulette, then click up here. I'll put a card up. You can check those matches out after this episode or before this episode so they're all in sequence. But... I'm going to just spill it right now. You know what? I've just sat down to record today's episode and I did two battles. I did the whole episode. We had the most incredible game for our last game and I went down to end the episode and click stop recording and I hadn't even clicked start recording. So I must have just missed the start. And I feel like crying. I feel like crying. So, so disappointing. Uh, because we did the, the bonus button and everything like that. So we've got one bonus button left to activate this week. Obviously, I know what the the bonus button is going to be, um, but we'll try and make it up. So, we have one bonus button left going into this episode. It is our Patreon button that gives our patrons uh, the opportunity to nominate a Pokemon uh, to put into the team. Obviously, we have to select a random one to take out, and we'll do that right now. So, we'll head over to the wheel, see which Pokemon is going to be taken out this week. <laughs> And it is poor ugly. I already knew this. It's very sad. It's poor ugly. I'm so sad about this. But on the hindsight, we do have four suggestions from our patrons this week. We've got three fake out users within those four selections. So hopefully we get one of Incineroar, Scrafty, or Mr. Mime. And uh, we don't get Pseudo Wudo. I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Who suggested Pseudo Wudo? Which is a perfect Pokemon. Make sure to get your nominations in for the rest of the week as well that the poll is up on the channel right now for next week's teams uh hopefully pseudo would have comes into the squad next week but we're gonna hop over to the wheel now see which pokemon got selected for today's episode i'm definitely recording right now so we'll be back in one moment and see who selects for our sixth member of the team <laughs> Mr. Mime, so Nigel, thank you so much, Worms Eye, for the suggestion here. We're going to have Mr. Mime integrated into the team. It's always the team is down in the description below. There's a revolt paste, poker paste of the team. And just to finally recap the team before we go into this final episode today in two battles, we can see that we have got Mr. Mime, Luxray, Mega Bennett, Dragonite, Xerneas, and Groudon. And also, before we get into today's episode, guys, as a little thanks to you all for all the support you give me, the channel in general, and just for being generally awesome people. I'm giving away this lovely I Heart Flinch hat, flat peak cap. To one of you lucky people, all you need to do is leave a comment, leave a like, and I will be doing a live draw on Monday and announcing the winner for this hat and have it posted straight out to you, to your very door, and you can walk around looking very sharp in this nice hat. So, as I said, it's just a little thank you to you all for all the support for the channel. I'm going to get into today's episode right now. The music is on. So let's get into it. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, guys, remember to drop a like on the channel. Do subscribe for more Pokemon content and leave your comments down below. Not only because I love hearing from you, but because if you leave a comment, you'll also be in the draw for this hat. As I say once again, got a first opponent. Make haste. Let's see. Team preview. So our first opponent today running out. An awesome team. Staraptor, Lunala, Smeagol, Medicham, Whimsicott, and Duskman Necrozma. I wonder if that's Ultra Necrozma. What a great team. What a great team. This looks like the the ultimate roulette team, if we could ever get it. I mean, yes. Yeah. So we've got uh, speed control from all sorts of Pokemon here. The Staraptor has access to Tailwind as long, along with the Lunala and the Whimsicott. And then we've got Trick Room being a thing as well that can be played by the Lunala, the Duskmane, and also that Whimsicott as well. So we've got Fake Out support in the Smeagol, the Medicham, and we need to watch out for. Um, an on call that we need to be very careful around that Whimsicott. Is this one for Bennett? Could Bennett be be an option here? Maybe. Could be decent. I feel like Luxray is quite good as well with its Intimidate. We need to be very careful around this Meagle with potentially Spore. So I might lead off with Mr. Mime, Luxray. Um, 
restricted Pokemon, we're going to need, I think, Groudon for sure. And then do we just throw in Xerneas because Xerneas is just generally a good Pokemon. I think we're going to lock in with those. And let's await my opponent to pick their selections. It's so sad. Like, the two matches that I had with the team were incredible, especially the last match. It was against a uh, QR code team against the la this year's Japan Nationals winning team. Um, and it came right down to the wire. And it was a lot of manoeuvring and got... Uh, the Z Geomancy up and then another Geomancy up on top of that and I'm so sad that I wasn't able to actually feature that and uh, it was all a combination of Mr. Mime Groudon and the Xerneas coming out on top uh, against the Solgaleo at the end and it was just incredible so sad okay let's try and replicate some epicness for this one we've got Medicham and the Lunala coming out for my opponent here um, okay so let's snarl uh, we get the Intimidate onto the Medicham, which is which is really nice. Obviously, Mr. Mime can't really do too much here, so we could potentially fake out the Medicham, but it's probably going to fake us out, I would imagine. Um, we could go for a Psy Shock into it. It is a part Psychic type, so we'll just be hitting it for neutral damage. Uh, the other option is to kind of scout out the Lunala going for... It's pretty risky. We could scout out them going for a Tailwind. Um... It's more likely to go for a Trick Room, though, um, and go for an Encore into that slot. We could just get some damage onto the Melee Champ and go for a, a Psy Shock there. I'm just going to do the Psy Shock, play the safer option. It would have been nice to catch the Lunala out if they go Tailwind and then lock them into that, for sure. It's likely they've got the Z-Move as well, though, uh, so you can't really get the most out of the lock. Uh, there's a fake out coming out. It's going to be into Luxray. Okay, so we get a, a free Psy Shock into this Medicham. Get some damage onto it at least. Uh, taking down a half health, which is decent. We could have got away with that that Encore Lock for sure there. Mm, which is a, a little bit of a shame. Um, oh, I think what we'll do... We'll go for a Snarl again. And I think... Uh, there's no way we're going to catch the Medicham with a the, the Encore Lock here. So... Uh, we'll go for another side shock into the Medicham. I think it's the best option that we can do. Medicham withdrawing. What we're going to see come in is going to be the Necrozma. So not ideal for us. But the Snarl does help, especially if that is Ultra Necrozma. We're going to just see a Moonguys beam. It'd probably be into the the uh, Mister Mime here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, take us down to our Sash. We're not going to really get much more use out of. Mr. Mime, unfortunately, right now the side shot coming out going to do very minimal damage to this this Necrozma. Yeah, but the Snarl will do decent damage to both targets, especially breaking the Shadow Shield on that Lunala, which is the big important thing for us right now. Uh, not doing too much to that Necrozma, like I say, but it probably likely is Ultra Necrozma. I would imagine, um, because you went for the Tailwind, and that would be my only that would be my only thing. Uh, let's go for an Encore into... No. Let's not. There's no point of going wide guard, I don't feel, right now. I don't really want to switch Mr. Mime out either. We don't want to take too much damage from anything else coming in. Uh, we could just get a bit more damage with the Psy Shock into the Lunala here. We'll probably get a bit more out of that than anything else, I'd imagine, from this point. And just hopefully Mr. Mime goes down. We may see the Lunala switch out, but no, we're just going to see another Moonguys beam. Where are you going this time? We're not going to see the, um, the Dusk Main. Go for that uh, Ultra Burst, though. So maybe it's not. Uh, it's going for the Earth Power, though. We should take this with the Assault Vest and the Snarl. Wow. Wow. Look how bulky Luxray is. It's a beast. Get another Snarl off, which is nice. Further reducing everything on my opponent's side of the field. And this sets up a nice opportunity for Groudon to actually come in now. Um, I really am tempted to bring in Xerneas to get this Z Geomancy up. Um, but at the same time, we could be dealing with a uh, Duskman that has... Uh, I mean, we can bring Xerneas in, right? We bring Xerneas in. We'll switch out Luxray. We'll protect. We'll just do a little bit of scouting. See what my opponent goes for here. Uh, yeah. Because they could have the Sunsteel Strike. 
and I just want to scout for that. Although, do they with Earth Power? Would you do that? Would you do that with Earth Power? I wouldn't have thought you would. I think we're probably all right going for the Z Geomancy here. I'm gonna do it and bring in Groudon because it's quite important to keep Luxray in the back for the Intimidate support later on. Um, both minus two, not really pressuring Xerneas too much. We're going to see the Lunala switch out. Medicham come back in, which is fine. I think the worst thing that we can potentially have here is uh, obviously the fake out the next turn from Medicham will kind of put the Xerneas in its track, stop it in its tracks. But uh, let's see. If this Necrozma goes Ultra Burst, if it does, then it's good for us. Ah, oh, it has got Sunsteel Strike. Mm. No! <laughs> now we are connected, I think. Um, man, that does so much damage. Ugh. I'm banking on it not having it, really, and it does have it, so it makes it very difficult for us to um, to function now. Uh, get this G Z Z Geomancy up. Um, I think we get a Precipice Blades up for sure, but I don't think it's going to be enough at this point because I think the Medicham probably goes for. It could just attack, to be honest. Um, yeah, well, Precipice Blades, you just go for it. The Tailwind has pitted out, so maybe Groudon's in a position where we probably could have eruptioned here rather than Precipice Bladed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what would have been better, to be honest. Not Z Geomancy and probably would have been the play. Every time we've done it, we've been it's been a bit of a sticking point for us. I don't think it's the most optimal way to run Xerneas. It is pretty memey, but uh, a fake up stops it completely now, which is uh, not ideal. But let's see what my opponent does. He might panic. May panic. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna see Ultra Necrozma pop out. Okay. It probably just goes Sunseal Strike into we'll probably see a fake out. And then it pop the uh Ooh, bullet punch. What? Wow. Huh. Didn't see that coming. They are at speed both, so I mean that's good for us, I guess. We're gonna take an earth power though. Process it is minus one. Oh, photon geyser. It's probably better, to be honest. Um, ugh, man, it still does so much damage, and now it's got access to its Z move the next turn, which is. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this one now. No, I think the big the big issue here was definitely going for that that Z Geomancy getting greedy. Smeagol coming back onto the field can fake out, can spawn, can do all sorts of shenanigans. Mm. Yeah, it's not not a great first game for us at all. Um, we really probably needed some speed control here, I think. We'll go for a Precipice Blades again, and we'll go for a Snarl. Snarl, Snarl, I don't think we're going to be able to get the Snarl off. We should outspeed the Smeagol, though, but it probably goes for a fake out into... Oh, the... okay, I'm going to just see a Protect here. What's the Smeagol going to do? Put, put us to sleep? Has the Smeagol got a Sash? Blatantly got the Sash. It has to have the Sash. Yeah, there we go. And puts the ground on to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of it now, but I mean, it just opens the door for Lunala to come back in. I wonder if... Could Luxray do this by itself? Can Luxray take down the Necrozma with a Snarl? I mean, you just double Luxray now, really. <laughs> and Groudon just takes a nap. Takes a nap. But, saying that, mm, I think the Lunala is way too far out of Snarl range, unfortunately. We'll go for a Precipice Blades, and we'll go for the Snarl. Groudon has to take a full turn of sleep here. If Luxray can somehow manage to take a double up here, that would be pretty impressive. I just don't see it happening. Maybe the Lunala takes a turn tailwinding. 
that could be all we need. So we might still have a chance. I don't really see us having much of a chance though. I feel like we're backs against the wall. But we'll hold out hope for Luxury. Hopefully it can do something here. That would be incredible. Imagine pulling off a win now from this position. Groudon's faster than both, so that's interesting. Uh, there's an Earth Power from the Necrozma. Groudon hopefully can take this. Yeah, okay. Z move. Right, where are you going? Into Luxray. This will pick up the knockout. I don't think we can take this, uh, even with the Assault Vest from this range. We'll cut this, we'll be right back, and we'll find out. It's actually into the Groudon. We might actually have a chance. Luxray could... <laughs> Could do this, come on, Snarl. If we can take down the Ultra Necrozma now, we definitely got a chance to do this. Come on, take down the Ultra Necrozma, please take it down, play. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's, it's so weak, so weak, so weak. Luxray, can we do it? Necrozma's minus two. Um, still has. Uh, uh, can we do, can we, I mean, we got to keep, keep snarling. I don't know if Luxury can do it. Is there a chance? I mean, I would, like, this would be the, the best thing ever if Luxury can beat these two. Just don't see it happening. Just see us taking too much damage. Okay, that's doable. Moon Guys Beam, let's see. We need to, we need to pick up a knockout now, really, on both, I think. Um, yeah. We need to knock out both now. And we can't. We can't do it. We can't do it. And we're not going to be able to take another combination. Luxray did so well, though. Um, you've got to take your hat off to Luxray. <sighs> so disappointing. Maybe... Uh, I don't I don't know what would have been a better way to go around it. Ground on sleeping. We didn't really have too much of an option. Earth Power now coming in. And picks up the kill. And good game to our opponent. Unfortunately can't pick up the victory there which is a little bit of a shame but it's kind of panning out like the the episode that I, I didn't record that I thought I was recording where we lost our first game and then we said let's come back let's give this team a really good send off and we came back and we did that so let's see if we can replicate that and see if it comes back in any shape or form where we can maybe do it so ah, let's see let's see let's see disappointing that would have been epic though i mean that would have been the most epic thing if luxury could have come back and done that so the unfortunate thing is we're not going to be able to hit the 1500 mark uh this week but it does give us something to aim for next week let's go with the eighth of foundation for our music here we're sitting on a rating 1423 so i'll just i'll just pull the screen over so you can see a bit unfortunate but like I say, we've got an opportunity next week to do this. So make sure you do get your nominations in for next week. The poll is up on the YouTube channel now. Nominations, away you go. So nominate one Pokemon and they will all get put into the wheel and we will select a random team next week. Remember, you can nominate anything that is legal in the VGC19 format. So we've got our next opponent of the episode. It is Sun and he is running a team of. Let's get into team preview. Running Groudon, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Duskman, Necrozma, Gengar, and the Salamence. So potentially two Mega Pokemon here. We've got the Gengar, we've got the Salamence. If I was going to guess with which one was the Mega, it says Salamence. So maybe you just have both and just decide on depending on the matchup. You're going to have probably Ultra Necrozma here paired up with that Groudon. Uh, Tapu Koko for the Terrain Control and then the Incineroar. I think out of everything, Luxury is really good with that Intimidate support here. Um, and I maybe want to bring... I maybe want to bring Dragonite here just for an immunity to at least uh, the Groudon's ground type attacks. I think it would be pretty useful. Uh, we probably need Groudon of our own to help with the Tapu Koko, that, that Dusk Main Necrozma, Ultra Necrozma potentially. Um, do we bring Xerneas here? I don't, like, I'm not massively fond of Xerneas in this matchup, to be honest, and I think we could probably do without it and I'm kind of leaning towards Burnett um, yeah Burnett Dragonite and Groudon is my fall but then do we just sack those off and bring Xerneas instead 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I've left the ground on out. If it's Dusk Min, the Crosma, and not Ultra and the Crosma are screwed. That's my only reason in why I'm bringing the Xerneas here. And Tapu Koko matchup obviously gets a lot harder. But we've got to try and just force our way through this. It might pan out overall pretty well here. Luxury and Binet coming out for us. What a combination of Pokemon. Way more style points than our opponent who's leading off with the double intimidate. How good would per Purgly have been here? Isn't Purgly? So sad. So sad. Alright, so we get an intimidate back. We are faster than Incineroar. Obviously, Binet can't be faked out here, which is a nice thing. Uh, so we can take advantage of that potentially here. Um, but we are intimidated as well. I think what I'll do is just go for an Ice Fang into Salamence, try and get some damage off. We're probably going to get faked out into that slot though. Um, we could get Dragonite in. Might be quite nice getting Dragonite in. Although, keeping Dragonite for when the Groudon comes out is probably a better idea anyway. Um, could Phantom Force. It's not really going to be ideal. But we could just protect. Just protect Binet. Or we could switch out into Xerneas. Let's do that. Let's keep Binet for later on. And let's switch into Zern. Let's see. My opponent probably goes... Tailwind, fake out. That's what I would imagine. We'll probably see. But I could be wrong. Xerneas isn't too worried here, regardless of whatever happens. I mean, the Salamence is intimidated, so its damage output isn't going to be as bad as what we think it is. There's the fake out, there's the tailwind. It's fine. Super fine. Um. Now, you probably switch Salamence out now. I'm going to switch... Mm, looks rare out. Yeah, probably better to switch it out. And do we go for the, the. I don't think we go for the Geomancy here because it's just not worth our while going for it. We could go for. We could just protect to stall out my opponent's Tailwind for sure. Um, yeah, it's not a bad plan. I'd imagine maybe the Salamence going out here. And the Groudon coming in. Uh, or we could just see an attack from the Salamence and then a U turn from the Incineroar here. It's just if our Shadow Shield gets broken, a uh, multi skill gets broken on our Dragonite, it wouldn't be ideal. Uh, Hyper Voice, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Dragonite, yeah, multi skill does get broken, a Flare Blitz. Okay, so that's, that's not the worst. Thing in the world, so we can match Tailwind for sure. Um, hmm, or we could Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance probably better off going for a Tailwind right now. Um, or we could switch in again. I mean, one thing we could potentially do is get Luxray in, and and now go for. Or we could Tailwind. I think Tailwinding is probably better, right? Yeah, we Tailwind, and then we go for the 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 um the Z Geomancy. Because then if we go for it this turn, they keep both Pokemon out on the field. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then we get... Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, Dog and Z. Okay, we're not, maybe not going to get our Tailwind up. But it, we're not going to... I don't think this will be into Xerneas. I think this will be into Dragonite. And if it is into Dragonite, and Dragonite goes down, uh, like we are going to see... Uh, if it goes down, then we get Luxray back onto the field and get another Intimidate onto both these physical type attackers. It gives Xerneas that little bit of momentum. Wow, Dragonite is a beast. We're going to get a Tailwind up. This is even better. Okay, we get a Z-move. Going to get the, 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 the initial boost. And then the next turn, what we can do when a Tailwind's up, Xerneas will not outspeed Salamence, but it will outspeed the Incineroar. Um, so we should be able to get our Geomancy complete this next turn. Um, at least the worst thing that can happen of course is that we do see um, What was gonna say I don't know worst thing yeah raw on the incineral uh, that could be bad But it's Z move so it's likely got dark slide fake out u-turn and flare blitz and I think what we'll probably see now is a double-edged flare blitz into Xerneas. 
I'd imagine. But getting the Intimidate off should put us in a position where we are able to survive both of these attacks. Minus two. They're both minus two. We get the Geomancy up before either attack, so that's good information. Oh, unless the Salamence has got raw. I reckon the Salamence has got raw. It must do. That's the only reason why it's... Oh no, it hasn't. It's just bulky and slow. I guess we do get the speed boost, so we would add speed anyway, so we'll match the Tailwind, yeah. There's the, the Hyper Voice, there's the Flare Blitz. Yeah. Now, I mean, look at that. Look at that! We take it, now we're plus three. Now we're in a good position to start doing some work. Um, <clears throat> let's super power the Incineroar, and let's Dazzling Gleam. <clears throat> plus three, I'll get the Salamence, but a million times over. Uh, Luxray. Once again, coming in amazing. So, Salmon's going to protect here. Um, Dazzling Gleam coming out. I think the thing that we need to do is just deny my opponent getting any speed control set up for the rest of the game. And as long as that Salamence is taken care of, then we can do that for sure. Um, <clears throat> looks really not in the best positions now especially if the Groudon makes its entry onto the field We've got to think that the uh, the Duskmane is still kicking around so we need to be able to to deal with that and then mm, now my opponent has the opportunity to uh, get a Tailwind up for sure and we don't have our Groudon which is the one thing that we would probably like in this situation Looks like we're not going to be outspeeding in the Necrozma but we can definitely get the Salamence with a Dazzling Gleam and maybe we go Snarl and Dazzling Gleam here. <clears throat> Just to stop that Tailwind. I think we, we mentioned it before. Now Cosmo actually gone for a Protect here. And the Salamence going to try and get um, a Tailwind up. But it's not going to be able to. Not a plus three Dazzling Gleam. Uh, okay, so the, the speed control has gone from my opponent. Crit didn't matter. Crit mattered! Crit mattered! Crit never mattered today. Not a million years. I wonder what the damage calc would have been. So I Tailwind Pit is out now. Uh, which is fine. We're going to see the Groudon come in. Okay. I wonder what a plus three Moonblast does to a Groudon. Interesting to see, right? Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll switch Luxray out. We'll get <coughs> Dragonite back onto the field. And... Yeah. We'll, should we protect... Should we protect Xenius' turn? I don't see the, the, the Necrozma <coughs> Ultra Bursting here. I feel like it's probably got Sunsteel Strike and it probably goes for an attack here. Um, so we'll scout that out. We'll see if it has got the Sunsteel Strike. We could get punished though. Sub on Groudon. Trick Room here could be a thing. Groudon actually protecting here. The Necrozma not Ultra Bursting. It might not be Necrozma has got the Sunsteel Strike though. Now we should be able to guarantee another Tailwind up um, for ourselves here. We could Dragon Dance as well. Um, or we could just Dragon Claw the Groudon double into that slot. And a Dragon Claw and a Moonblast may be enough to get it. And then we've got Burnett to deal with the Necrozma, which I think will be fine, especially with Luxray in the back. Let's go for the double up. Oh, Necrozma actually gone for the cheeky Protect here. Uh, which is interesting. There's a Moonblast. Let's see. Plus three. What's it doing to Groudon? Wow. Can we outspeed? We do. Oh, it's all coming together now. This is great stuff. <laughs> what better way to end this week than with a match like this? Now we are going to be able to see what a plus... Let's go for a Dragon Dance. A plus three Moonblast does to a Duskman Necrozma. I don't expect it to do too, as much damage, but it'll be interesting to see how much it does regardless. Wow. It's crazy. Super resisted. Dragon Dance. Here we go, boys. And girls. And everyone else. Who's viewing? Sunseal Strike. We'll lose Ernius now, for sure. Um, <clears throat> but I think we're going to be fine. We've got Mega Burnett to come in, cause all sorts of shenanigans from the back. So we can we can Phantom Force and 
Uh, we still got we still got Luxray as well, which I think at this point Luxray could even come in and probably win this game by itself, especially with the Assault Vest. We saw how good it was against that Ultra Necros in the last game and the Dusk Main. Um, yeah, let's just go Dragon Claw and go Photon Phantom Force because ben Mega Benet should take an attack from Necrozma. Should do, I would imagine it does. Like, Duskman's, like, pretty powerful. That's the thing. you got to remember how, how strong that is. Wow. It's going for the Protect. Hmm. Okay, which just gives us the win now, granting us that win, because Phantom Force cannot be... Uh, you cannot hit through. You cannot Protect against it. It hits through Protect. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go for Tailwind, and the game's pretty much over now, though. And my opponent just forfeits. So, what an incredible way to end the week. Plus three Xerneas doing the work. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for each and every one of you tuning in. The first game to kick us off wasn't that great, but we nearly had epicness with Luxray when it did nearly take down those two in the end. And if it had a little bit more about it, it maybe would have been able to do the business against Lunala and that Ultra Necrozma. But unfortunately, it was just a little bit too much for it. But I would say the team on a whole has been amazing this week. So... Thank you to each and every one of you for the, the nominations. I'm sorry that we weren't able to get over that 1500 mark, but we will be a lot better shape going into Monday's episode and a lot closer to that 1500 mark than we were at the start of the week where we were in the 1300s, which is crazy. We're very close to 1500 now, so hopefully next week is the week that we do it. Remember, guys, the poll is up on the channel right now. Go over and make sure you get your selections in for this next team starting Monday. Make sure you do leave a comment as well to get put into the draw for this amazing hat, and we'll be doing the giveaway on Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an incredible weekend, whatever you're up to, and I will see you all on the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.